All right, here we go. Helping an ugly friend. Do you have an ugly friend? Sure, we all do. Here we go. Dear Billiam Burr, um, thanks for doing the podcast. Ba-dee-ba-dee-ba-dee-ba-dee. Thank you. Um, one of my good friends is ugly. I'll say it outright. God bless his heart. He's 26, short, disproportionate face. I don't know what that means. Uh, skinny with a gut slowly forming. Oh, God. Receding hairline. Jesus. And worst of all, he doesn't take care of his teeth. Yeah. Wow. Jesus fucking Christ. All I thought of there was Clint Howard. Um, over the past couple of years, he's gotten more and more bitter about life. I believe it's due to his insecurity about his looks and attracting women. He has a great degree, really well-paying job, good sense of humor, and can talk to the ladies. However, he lacks the killer instinct needed to close the deal, meaning he gets friend-zoned with every girl that is possibly interested, which is very few. Well, you're kind of talking out of both sides of your mouth. If you're saying he's great with the women, but he just can't close the deal, why are there only a few women interested in him? What are you going to say? See the first paragraph where you decide to fuck? You basically described a troll. Um, myself and close friends have been subtly pushing him to work out, clean his teeth, eat health, healthy, etc. But he gets very offended whenever we suggest anything. He seems to be set on a path of thinking he is going to have to wait until his 40s before women will be desperate enough to ignore his looks and date him for his successful career. Uh, this type of attitude is starting to affect his friendships. He is getting bitter and defensive, bitter, defensive and confrontational. Nobody likes an angry troll. They really don't. OK, if you're going to go the troll route, you know. You, you got you got to be at the very least affable. You know, working your way towards jolly, I would think. Maybe you can put on a silly hat and build some toys. I don't know. Um, as his friend, how can I help him get off this path and boost his confidence to get that killer instinct and confidence that the ladies love, even if you're, if, even if you're ugly? Thanks for the advice and go fuck yourself. Uh, P.S. Shout out to the beautiful city of Boston. I was there last year for a hockey tournament and can't wait to go back. P.S.S. Fuck your ruins. I've lost two years of my life due to the stress of the, the Maple Leaf series. Oh, Jesus. Guy must have sent that before it was over. Um, all right. So what do you say to this guy? Oh, wow. Well, I don't know him, but at some point, you're just going to have to fucking lay it on the line and say it to him and say, like, look, you know something? You're just like me. All right. You want to have fun? You want to go sow your oats, as they say, and then you want to find love and get married and start a family, correct? You know, you got to brush your fucking teeth. <laughs> I don't know how to, how do you go into it slowly? Like this is, no matter how you come at it, when somebody's defensive, there's, there's no way to come at them without burning up in the atmosphere of their fucking bitterness during reentry. How do you do it? I would wait to the next time he says something bitter and or, or defensive or something like that and just look at him and be like, listen, dude, you're your own worst enemy. All right? Life is a horse race and you're shooting yours in the back of the head before the fucking gate even opens. Then you're walking around the track with mud on your shoes, you know? Wondering why, uh, I don't know, why you're fucking some other horse racing thing that I don't know shit about. I picked the wrong metaphor. You know what I mean? Just wait till he's being a cunt. I remember one time I, I knew this guy. He was just negative as fucking hell. And you'd say, hey, you know something? If you keep doing this, maybe this will happen. And then he'd always be like, yeah, you know, with my luck, the fucking piano will fall on my head. And I got sick of it. And then finally I'd be like, yeah, you know, well, you know, if you think that way, that's probably going to happen. And I only said it one time and he never talked that way again. He's still negative. But I didn't have to deal with that shit. I don't know what to do with this guy. Like, um, you might you might have to fucking channel Patrice O'Neill. God rest his soul. Patrice O'Neill would have sat this dude down and would have said, N-word, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Look at yourself. You know? You got a fucked up face. You're losing your goddamn hair. At the very least, brush your fucking teeth. 
Get some fucking better clothes. What's wrong? He, I, I can't do I can't do what he would have done. He would have been able to do it. He would have hurt the guy's feelings so bad while helping him to become a better person at the same time. You might, you're going to have to come up with your own fucking version of that. You know? I, 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 don't, I don't know. What, what do you do? When somebody just stops brushing their teeth, you're just tapping out on humanity. And you're saying he's smart and he has a degree. He's not one of those. Is there anything worse than somebody really smart with bad fucking hygiene? You know, those people, they're so fucking smart. They, you know, but they, they show up, they got like sleep in their eye. Oh, God. Dude, bad teeth is a goddamn deal breaker. You know? Jesus fucking Christ. You know what's funny? I'm disgusted with this guy. Don't you, don't you, don't you, have, any, don't you have any fight in you? You just going to quit? You fucking asshole. I was born with orange hair. Did I quit? I got great teeth. Did I ever stop brushing? No, I didn't. I got second and third degree burns when I went out in the sun. You know? Did I stop flossing? I didn't. Quit fucking moping around, you ugly motherfucker. You get yourself some scope and Listerine and a fucking scrub brush. You go to a goddamn dentist, you get your fucking teeth clean. All right? When you hit on a woman, you stay on it. You keep those plates spinning. Always have a condom. Always be ready. What time is it? It's good time. Right? Do something like that. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. That fucking, there's nothing that annoys me more than watching somebody just quit. Tell him that. Tell him stop being such a fucking baby. This fucking eight-year-old sewing together his goddamn shirts. It's probably toddlers making the toothbrushes that he's not even using. Oh, poor fucking baby. You know? You don't look like John Davidson. Who gives a fuck? Brush your teeth. Shave your fucking head down. All right? Go to the gym. Give yourself a fighting chance. Stop treating yourself like you're the pirates. You know? Or running yourself like the fucking pirates do. What did I do to this goddamn thing? All right. Sorry, man. I just, I, there's just something that really fucking gets me about people who do that shit, who just fucking quit. There's nothing worse than that. Unless you really just truly suck at something. Like, you know, like you guys hear I sing, I'm terrible. But it's funny because it's the podcast. But if I was actually trying to sing professionally, that's one thing. You really should quit <laughs> and fucking do something else for just, just for your fellow man, you know? But you just, just a, just a quit. You're just going to quit? I'm legitimately disgusted with that person I never met before. I don't know what to tell you. What an asshole. Ugh, fuck, and he gets bitter. You know what that reminds me of for some reason? There was fun, one time I was doing a show, and there was somebody in the front row that was mentally challenged. So there's no way I'm fucking with this guy. And then I get on stage, and the kid's a cunt. He starts fucking heckling me. You know? And every time I don't say anything back, he gets a little more fucking confident. And then finally, I was just like, you know what? I came up with what the fuck I said to him. The crowd pulled back, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. They're just like everybody else, okay? Some of them are cunts, and this is a great example. So fuck you, buddy. I kind of kept it at that. It was really a fight. Oh, oh man, I, that guy fucking annoyed me. I was doing some hell gig the first time I lived out here in L.A. I'm standing at some fucking Mexican restaurant. I'm getting fucking heckled by this kid, all right? I mean, you know what I'm doing living in L.A. I'm going through that fucking bullshit. But you know what? I didn't quit. I brushed my teeth before that fucking show. <laughs> Dude, when you, when you just don't brush your teeth, you just tapped out. You're just saying, fuck it.